Hello, this is Doug. In today's video, I'll cover how to create a rent splitting calculator in Excel. If you've ever been apartment hunting and you know you're gonna have roommates, you know you're gonna have to split out their rent. And if the bedrooms are the same size, it could be pretty easy to split them out equally. But what if they're not the same size? What if one is 13% bigger, 15% bigger, or 17% bigger? How do you split out the rent? Well, in today's video, I'll cover how to do two models with this, both using square footage. One for the square footage of the whole unit and one using the square footage of just the bedrooms. So let's see how we can do this. So I've mentioned before, I'm going to base this rent splitting calculator on two models. One that is going to take into account the whole square footage of the unit. So I'll use this particular unit as an example. It's got the square footage of 960 and you've got two bedrooms with the differing square footages for those bedrooms. Now that's one, that's one model. The second model for the calculator is going to take just the bedrooms, just the square footage of those bedrooms to do those calculations. So you can use this model and the selection between these models is basically a personal preference or the preferences of your roommates. So I've mentioned it before. You want to set the expectations correctly. You want to decide on how you want to split out the rent before you actually go sign that contract. So let's start with the first model. Now, total square footage, we're going to type total. We're going to create some variables here or some placeholders for things. I'll type foot for square footage. And I'm going to incorporate some keyboard shortcuts to make it easier for you. So FT and Control 1 to put the number 2 as a superscript. So what does it mean? The number two is going to float right up there in the top, right? So it makes it look nice instead of when putting FT2, FT with the superscript up, up there makes it look nicer. So the, as I mentioned before, 960 is square footage. And what about the rental rate? Well, let's assume a rental rate of 2150. This is somewhere in a college town or it's somewhere where in a city where it's kind of expensive. So what is the rent per square footage? Well, that's basically that divided by that, right? So we'll go rent per FT, control one, superscript, okay, and then the number two. I'm just gonna copy that later on so I don't have to do the control one over and over again. So that is gonna equal renter rate divided by total square footage. So that's gonna tell me it's gonna be $2.24 per square foot. Right? And so that kind of gives us a framework. Now the bedroom, let's go bedroom number one. Bedroom one and the square footage. Let's take this. I don't have to do the control one again. Control C to copy, control V to paste, press enter. And it didn't do that. Oh shucks, too bad. But what I can do, I can, I can just take that control C to copy, control V to paste, and I'll just take total and just call it bedroom one square footage, right? So that square footage is 131.25. Now, how much is it going to cost now? How how much is bedroom one number one going to cost? Well, so it's going to be this multiplied by the rent per square feet, right? That's the total square foot of that bedroom times that. Let's call this bedroom cost. Bedroom one cost, right? Equals 131 times that square footage. We see bedroom one is going to cost $293.95. Actually, let's put these in dollar figures, right? Put a dollar figure there, put a dollar figure there. So we have bedroom one. What about bedroom two? I'm going to control C to copy, control V to paste, put this one as bedroom two. And bedroom two, the square footage, is going to be 162 based on our diagram. So what is the cost? Control C to copy. Let's just take that label there and just change bedroom one to bedroom two. And it's going to be the same thing here, right? So it's going to be equal the square footage cost multiplied by the print per square foot. And you're going to have a cost of 362.81. So what about the common areas? The, the common areas that are not bedrooms, right? So basically, it's going to be the total square footage minus bedroom number one and bedroom number two. So I'm just going to copy that, put it here. I'll call this common and equal the total square footage minus bedroom number one, minus bedroom number two, right? Now we got that square footage and 
I'll take that, control C to copy, bring that label down here so I don't have to do the control one for that, and just call this common, remove the one there, space, press enter, and this is going to equal to that multiply by the rent per square foot. We have that, that's going to be 1493. So let's do a check here. Let's select this, press the control key, press this, click that, and click that, and that should equal up to 960. And that's equal up to the total square footage there, and we can see that it does. How about the cost? Click that, press control key, click that, click that. That should equal to 2150, and we see that it does. Let's make this into a dollar sign too. Make that into currency. So now we have potential for roommates. So we have bedroom number one. Does that have roommates? Number of people, I just make that a shortcut. And how about bedroom number two? Control C to copy, Control V to paste. How about bedroom number two? Do they have people? So let's assume that bedroom number one is smaller. It's only got one person. And bedroom number two is bigger. Maybe there's two people sharing. And I'm going to total it. And you're going to see why I do that later. But let's total the amount of people in the unit. And that's just basically a sum of these two. Select that, press enter. And we've got three, right? So let's now see the cost per person per bedroom, right? So I'll put bedroom number one. And then bedroom number two, let's just bring the fill handle down here. It's going to increase that to two, and that makes it easy for us. Let's add another row here. Right click, insert row. So I have some space here to put another header. I'll type in cost, and here I'm going to type in common room, because we need to figure out the split per the common room, and we'll do total per person, because we want to figure out if we have roommates, what is the total per person? Right, per person. So now the cost is going to be bedroom number one, right? Now bedroom number one, we had this cost. And if we divided it by the amount of people in that bedroom, that doesn't give us the same cost that we had there, right? So that is not a problem. Bedroom number two, we had this cost. Cost for the bedroom divided by the number of people in that room is there. And now we have that cost. What about the common room? Well, the common room or common areas is divided amongst three people here, right? So that's why I had that total there. So the cost per square footage of the common areas is that divided by that. So we're gonna say equal that divided by that. And we have that. And I'll do the same here. It's gonna be the same calculation at the bottom. But you see if I drag this field handle down here, you're gonna get a different number because what it does is it's looking at B16, which we don't want it to do. So when I'm here, I'm gonna lock that in using the F4 key. So it puts a dollar sign in front of those. So when I copy it down, press enter. When I copy it down, it saves that particular value there, right? And I'll do the same for B10 because basically it's going to be the three same three people. So F4, press enter. And when I drag this fill handle down, the fill handle down, it basically copies it. You can see it's the same thing, right? Now I got my sum equal SUM, press tab, these two, press enter. That's 791. Drag the fill handle down there because what it's going to do is going to copy that formula. You see, it copy that formula B6, B18 to C18. It copied it, but it adjusted it from B19 to C19, the different row, because it's copying that one, right? If I click up here, you can see it's copied there. So now we build out our model, our calculator, and if we wanted to change some things, let's say that we wanted to have two people in bedroom number one instead of one person. Type two in there, press enter. Now it calculates it out per person, 520 per person for bedroom number one, and 554 per person for bedroom number two, because bedroom number two is a little bit bigger. So you can also do other areas of change if you want to change that. And one thing to note here, is easier to make you identify which cells you need to change is you might want to highlight them, right? So these are the cells that we want to change, right? So we can go under, select them, change the color here, or maybe use the cell styles here and use the input. That's the input, right? And so if we wanted to do that, this is an input cell. Let's go to cell styles click input, and the same for here. And if we want to repeat the last action, you can do control Y. Control Y repeats the last action. And so we can do it for there. And also here, these, these are areas where we're looking for input. Control Y would repeat that last action. So another way to make it kind of easy for you to like visually separate things, let's make that color green. And then bedroom number two, let's make that color, I don't know, make, 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 make this orange color. 
And we can do the same thing here, but instead of like selecting here, I can do the format painter and, and copy the formatting here. So I'll select that, click the format painter, and click it here, and click the format painter again, and click this one. Or if you want to do, if you're doing multiple times where you're copying the format, all you need to do is click on that, click it twice, click the format painter twice, it locks that in, select that, select that, press escape, and that little brush disappears, and you've done all your formatting. So there's our model, our rent calculator, if we wanted to calculate the bedrooms, the different square footages of the bedroom, plus if the roomies are going to share the common area rent equally. Now what if they didn't want to share the common area rent and they just want to focus on the bedrooms? That's another school of thought in terms of people wanting to do that calculation. So let's try it out, right? We have the same thing here. We've got the total square footage, Control C to copy. I'll just put it over here. Control V to paste. And, and you know what? This is going to be the same. Let's just make this the same. Control C to copy. Control V to paste. Right? Double click to auto fit that. That'll be the same. Now the difference is, is our bedrooms, right? So now I'll just copy that. We don't need to worry about the common area. Copy that. Control C to copy. Control V to paste. And you know what? This is the same too. Control C to copy. Control V to paste. Oh, and I've seen I did a formatting mistake. This is not an input area. This is, so I will take that. Click the Format Painter. Click on that. I should click it, click it twice. Click on that. Press Escape. And that one is going to be that. So click the Format Painter. Click it twice. Remove that, or copy that formatting. Copy that formatting. Press Escape. The formatting is gone. Now, this is the same too. Control c to copy. Control v to paste. And we've got our bedrooms here. So the last thing I'm going to do is copy this, Control c to copy, Control v to paste, and just copy the cost. And I did this purposely because this rent per square foot is not valid. So we're not basing it on the total square foot of the unit. We're basing it on just the square footage of the bedroom, number one and two. So this is going to be different. This is going to be summing up. So it's going to equal sum of that, press the Control key, and that. H5 and H7, press Enter. So this is not an input anymore. So I'm just going to get rid of that cell style. Click normal, right? That's not an input cell. These are input cells. You want to put the dollar amount for the whole rental. You want to put down the square footage of the bedroom one and square footage of bedroom two. How many roommates for bedroom one? How many roommates for bedroom two? So now we would have our costs, right? So now I can actually bring this calculation over, right? So it's B6 divided by B13 basically the cost of bedroom number one divided by the amount of people. So I won't even copy that. I'm just going to start to do it here. Equals the cost of that bedroom divided by these people. And the same here, the cost for bedroom number two, that cost divided by the amount of people in that room. And in fact, I didn't even need this total because it doesn't really matter because we're not sharing that common area. So I'll just delete that. So here, if we had our original scenario where there was only three people there and that was one person in that bedroom, you can see that person's paying a lot of money where the, the other two here are paying a lot less. So that's the pros and cons of using that particular format. So whether you use the, the model here where you are including the common space in your calculations or the model here where you're, you're just looking at the two bedrooms, you have to kind of determine how you want to calculate and split the rent before you sign that contract. So you can see there's quite a bit of calculations within some of the cells, but if you wanted to get a global view of which cells have calculations, just press the keyboard shortcut control tilde, and that lets you see which cells have calculations, right? You can see these cells have calculations. And then in your mind, you can work out, oh, where in the cell is it calculating from which cell to which cell? What's it multiplying? What's it dividing? So control tilde is a toggle. So I can press control tilde and it'll take me back to the regular view here. So now when you go apartment hunting, you've got X number of roommates, you can plug numbers in to decide to determine how you're gonna split the rent. So there you go. There's two ways you can do rent splitting calculations in Excel. Now, of course, there's other ways you can do it, but I figure using square footage in these two models would probably be the most clear cut. Now, the key thing is to get into the conversation early. All these calculations won't do you any good if you don't set up the expectations up front correctly and early. Of course, there's other things to consider. If there's a view, if you've got pets, if you are paying for other utilities, but it's an initial first start to get the ground running so you can set a baseline 
on how you're going to share the rent with your roommates. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.